Hello everybody and welcome to another Weathering Ways video. Today I am doing a 24 hour stream, 24 plus hour stream, that is a subathon, currently on my Twitch channel, right now. If you are watching this, when it comes out, an hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours, ten hours after this comes out, I am still streaming, okay? I am streaming right now on my Twitch. And I just want to remind everybody, right? That the game comes out tonight, 10 p.m. EST, right? That means that you have a very, very, very small window to get yourself pre registered and make sure that you have the five star echo that you want. I already made this video once before, but I'm literally going to make it again and I'm going to try and do it a little bit better than before and explain everything a little better. Okay, so this is the screen that we're looking at here. These are the echoes that you want. The ones with the golden around them, these are the best echoes. These are basically legendaries. What the echoes are in this game, sorry, the echoes in this game are like gear. They're like artifacts um, from any other gacha games that you might play. If you play Honkai Star Rail, these are the artifacts that you get from farming the, uh, whatever the fuck they're called. You know what I mean? The Cavern of Corrosions. Okay, the, this is what they are. Now, uh, there is a there is a guide. I can show you it. Um, there is a graphic. That shows you what the best echo is to pick. Right? Here it is. Sorry, this is very loud. Shows you what the best graphic is to pick. Here it is right here. This is far and away the best graphic for your characters. I chose the Violet Feathered Heron. I know when I made this video before, I chose the Cyan one. That was a mistake. But if I do want to have an account where maybe I go for a Xeon, if I want a second account, I can always go for that because that account is also pre-registered with one of these. So if I want ever I want two accounts, I can kind of make that happen if I want, right? Then I have the Cyan Feathered Heron for Xeon. But what I'm going to go for, what I planned on going for this whole time was uh, Calcharo and Yinlin. And I also really, really like Encore. That is a very cool character. And I can't remember, Chixia, I think is her name, is this character's name. Very, very cool. Uh, two guns, I believe. This is the character with the two guns. She is awesome, right? So I love all four of the characters that are in the Violet Feathered Heron. I'm pretty sure the Vi Violet Feathered Heron is the most picked out of all of the echoes i would imagine um it is just really cool all the characters in it are ones that i really really like that i would love to play with during my time playing the game i am very very excited about that if your main is going to be a support uh you can choose down here there's a lot of options for verena or uh if uh you have this, this yellow one, I don't know exactly what element this is. Uh, this yellow one, this one is good for rovers. So the one that's a cyan feathered, is, uh, the cyan feathered one is actually really good for the rover. And fun fact, rover is the main character of this game. It's just like your traveler from Genshin Impact or your trailblazer from um, Honkai Star Rail. And it is actually very, very good in this game. It is good to invest in your main character for pretty much any uh, anim anime gacha like this. Mostly because usually if they're not good at the start, they become good. They are the main character. The game wants to keep them at least a little bit relevant. Uh, just like how in Honkai Star Rail, we got Harmony MC. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, the rover is actually really good. So I, I don't say uh, if you want to go for Jian and you want to also put some resources into your rover, maybe Cyan Feathered Heron is very good. But I'm going for the double electro team with Yinlin and Calcharo, so I'm going to go Violet Feathered Heron. Like I said, I really like Encore and uh, Chixia, and they're going to be awesome characters that I want to play. So, God, I hate. No. God, I hate how uh, loud that thing is. Um, so yeah, you want to pick the legendary ones. That's all the ones that are right here, right? You want to pick those, um, and you whenever you do that. You click this, it'll go to select, it'll bring up your whole list, you pick one, and then you select it, you lock it in, and that is what you will get. Now, because I locked in the Violet Echo, or the Violet Heron, that Echo will be given to me in my mailbox when I reach Union level, which is basically account level, trailblazer level, uh, traveler level 8. Um, 
And also being pre-registered gets you a lot of rewards. Pre-registered gets you, um, I don't know if I can go back to the screen where it shows all the pre-registered rewards, but also once you've collected all the echoes, like a bunch of echo, not all of them, but a lot of the echoes here by doing pulls, which you can get by completing missions and scanning other people's uh, barcodes that whenever they uh, share their echoes on, you can do that on the discord. Uh, here it is right here. I have all of these rewards right here. Um, I thought you could look. I thought you could see everything you have. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it gives you some shell credits, gives you some shell credits, enhanced steel to asteroid. Things that you use to pull the characters. Here's the echo. Uh, asteroid is what you use to pull characters. 160 of it will get you a pull. Um, the advanced resonant potion, the energy cores, the sealed tubes. Yeah, these are the things that you use to upgrade your characters. Uh, the shell credits are basically like, I'm pretty sure they're just like credits from Hawkeye Star Rail. Um, I'm not exactly 100% positive. There is another graphic floating around out there that basically translates everything from Genshin Impact terms into Wuthering Waves terms. Um, I wish there was one for Honkai Star Rail, but I'm, I'm kind of learning, right? We're all kind of learning together. So, with all that being said, a little bit of a scuff video, but please come watch. Uh, we will be, we're, we're doing this for the release of Wuthering Waves, which will happen tonight at 10 p.m. EST. It's currently, as you can see in the bottom right-hand corner of my screen, 2.45 p.m. So we've got about 7 hours and 25 minutes until the game releases. Uh, I'm extremely excited for this game to come out. I'm very, very excited. Yeah, you get a lot of rewards in the game for pre-registering. You get a free legendary item that is a very good boss uh, echo uh, once you complete this event. And also you get a bunch of other little rewards scattered in there. Also, not only that, I have it posted on my Twitter, but there and my YouTube. Uh, but there are. Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see. I'm really getting lost on Twitter. Imagine there are three gift codes already out. There are three gift codes already out for Weathering Waves. Um, make sure that whenever the game comes out, you unlock the feature at Union Level Two to actually submit codes and get the, the gifts and whatever. Uh, Wuthering Waves is made by Kuro Games. They are a very, very, very free-to-play friendly and kind on the wallet company when it comes to their gotcha games. Mostly because they make more money than anyone else off of whales and then at least Hoyoverse does because they actually make skins for characters and they sell skins for characters which the whales will E6 every character They'll buy all the skins, and that means that they make enough money off of the skins to supplement maybe giving a little bit more free shit out for the people who want to stay free to play, or at least guppy to play, or uh, dolphins, you know, things like that. So, play Wuthering Waves, come to my stream, push.tv forward slash aqueous gotcha, right? I'll be streaming for the next 24 plus hours, right? And uh, have a good time. Yeah, I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Peace.